Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got my final battle with my Harper OU team, and it's against our Guardian 93. Um, we actually had another OU battle, um, I believe it, yeah, it was definitely an OU battle, um, but it was in Gen 5, uh, so you should also check out that battle. But anyway, I look at his team, and I think it's um, fairly interesting. He's got that heat train, which has me worried, because, well, my other OU team actually had lots of trouble, trouble with heat train. This team shouldn't have too much trouble with heat train. But actually, the first battle that I had with this team, it lost to a Heatran. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's begin. I lead off with my Aerodactyl, uh, which is a suicide lead, and I know that he's going to fake me out, and I'll probably go for an Ice Shard, but I think I can survive that. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Stealth Rock, just in case he does something else. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he goes for the Fake Out, just as I was predicting. That's going to flinch me, quite obviously, but, you know, it's resisted, doesn't do anything more than break my Sash. Um, and, you know, he actually takes probably the same amount of damage thanks to Life Orb Recoil. Um, so I'm just going to try it for a Stealth Rock again. I think I can take this Ice Shard. Uh, I don't know why I thought that. Uh, that was a clear KO, and Aerodactyl was taken out on the first turn without setting up Stealth Rocks. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's alright. I'll just send out my uh, T-Tar and have it set up uh, Stealth Rocks. But what I forgot is that this build of T-Tar doesn't carry Stealth Rocks. I don't remember whether it's just I put, on, put the wrong version on this team, or whether it's... Um, whether I'd never have a T-Tar that could uh, do Stealth Rocks. doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and Stone Edge, stone edge uh, and that'll probably KO, assuming it hits. Um, I take that Ice Punch fairly well. You know, not surprising. T-Tar is amazing. Um, go for the Stone Edge. It hits, and I would have been very, very, very surprised if that hadn't KO'd. So, bye-bye, Weavile. You took out my Suicide Lead, so, you know, you did pretty good. Anyway, so I, this is a Life Orb uh, T-Tar, so I'm taking damage. Uh, he goes ahead and set up, sends out his Metagross, and considering I haven't gotten any Dragon Dances up, I know I'm not going to outspeed, so I go ahead and wisely call my Quants back, and go ahead and send out my Flygon, who will probably be able to scare him out. Um, thank God I switched, because even if I had had some uh, Dragon Dances under my belt, no way I could have taken that super effective Bullet Punch. Um, so anyway, predicting my super effective move, he's obviously going to pull out Metagross, um, and he's going to go ahead and send out Sableye, I'm like, huh, not who I was expecting. Let's see how much Fire Blast does, and the answer is really not very much. So I'm probably going to pull out, yeah, I'm going to pull out Kimiko at this point, um, because that, just, that thing is just not going to, I, I need to hit it with something a little bit harder. Anyway, uh, I sent Quants back out, as Sableye goes for the recover, so it's a, it's a stalling set, um, and I'm, I, I'll go ahead and go for the Dragon Dance. Uh, now, this was actually really stupid, because had he carried the Will-O-Wisp, he could have crippled me. Um, but I, go, I do go ahead and, um, you know, he recovers this turn, so that's awesome. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and call back Sableye at this point. I'm at plus one, so I think I should outrun most, if not all, of his team. He goes ahead and sends out Zapdos. Not sure why he would send out Zapdos, considering he knows I run Stone Edge. Um, but I was actually going for the Crunch here, not the Stone Edge, because I wanted the accuracy. Um, and it hits, and it looks like it's going to be a solid two-hit KO, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, this is, you know, I just got to make sure it's not Scarfed. If it's Scarfed, then I'm screwed. But from the, you know, it's got leftovers, so it can't be Scarfed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to outrun. Um, I think I do a little bit of looking up to see, you know, what are the odds of him, you know, him carrying, you know, max speed, 10 minute, I guess would probably outspeed me. I should probably do the couch there. But anyway, I go for the second crunch. It takes out Zapdos, no problem. Uh, and that Zapdos really didn't do anything in this battle. So that's kind of awesome for me. Uh, and Quants is taking more residual damage and is down to pretty low HP. I go out, uh, he goes ahead and sends out Metagross. Obviously going to want to pull up because I know now he runs Bullet Punch. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Flygon again. Because I really don't think he can do anything to me unless he runs the Ice Punch. But I don't think he does. You know, I think he, I would have seen it by now. So yeah, uh, Ice Punch doesn't really do too much. I go for the Earthquake, expecting it to KO. Uh, and I get a critical hit, and so I'm not sure whether that crit mattered. I actually suspect that it did matter, to be completely honest, um, because Flygon has kind of poor attack, and this is the Scarf set, not the Band set. So anyway, uh, he goes ahead and sends out for Alligator here, and predicting the Aqua Jet, I'm going to go ahead and call Kamiko back, and I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, my Celebi. So I'm thinking, okay, well, so he goes for the Dragon Dance. 
so that's not particularly good for me. But I'm pretty sure I can take a plus one um, Ice Punch or Ice Fang, and then I can KO with a Seed Bomb, which is super effective, and you know, for Alligator doesn't have the best of defenses, so I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be okay. Um, I should be I should be able to do okay. Oh uh, yeah, I just have leftovers on the set, just showing you guys that. Um, so as I said, going to go for the Seed Bomb. Uh, he's going to go for the Ice Fang, just as I predicted, and I'm pretty sure I can take this. Uh, you know, assuming he doesn't get the freeze hacks. Uh, and as, as I see, I, you know, I take it okay, because this is a, uh, oh yeah, but I get the flinch. Yeah, this is a, um, max defense set, uh, so, uh, it's a physically defensive Celebi, uh, and that's just sucks. But anyway, I go ahead and call out, uh, call into Roomba, thinking, you know, I can take the Ice Fang, I can probably take a Waterfall, maybe, and hopefully I can survive one more attack and get off a T-Bolt, which should KO. And he's taking a lot of residual damage because not only is Life Orb um, taking away his damage, but the Sandstorm is as well. So yeah, gonna go ahead and go for the T-Bolt. And he carries the superpower. I'm like, no! No! Uh, but, so he's gonna take out Roomba in one hit, and that is no good for me. Um, but then again, so he's taking, he's uh, dropped his, both his attack and his defense. Uh, so now he's, and so I, I do the math in my head and think, you know, okay, how much damage did Celebi take the, uh, from that first Ice Fang? I think I can take one more. Um, so he's going to go for the Ice Fang, and I just got to pray and pray for no flinch. Um, and I survive with just a teeny tiny, itsy bitsy bit of HP. But I do survive, and I don't flinch, and I go ahead and go for the Seed Bomb, and at that range of health, and with the defense drop, it's not going to have any problem at all taken out for Alligator. So that's awesome, and that's it's kind of sad how that thing swept through half of my team. Oh yeah, and the Sandstorm is going to take out poor little Celebi. But you know what, Celebi? You did great. You took out that uh, for Alligator. Uh, props to you. Um, so I've got three Pokemon left. I believe he has two. I'm going to go ahead and send out Kimiko. Um, just basically to scout out what he's got um, and what he's going to do. Uh, he goes ahead and sends Sableye back out. Um, maybe I'm wrong with how many we each have. Anyway, so uh, Kimiko goes ahead and goes for the Earthquake, um, which is not a two-hit KO, and so I'm like, oh no, because... Oh, so he goes for the Calm Mind here, but he can just recover off the damage, and assuming I don't get a crit, I'm kind of, you know, screwed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call that Kamiko. I really should have gone for the Outrage, but I didn't want to get locked into it when he had that Heatran in the wings. So I go ahead and send out Uchikoma, thinking, okay, well, Uchikoma has a bit more attack. I can probably do a little bit more. Uh, Sableye recovers back to full health. Um, and yeah, so it's 3-2 to two right now, after all. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake, predicting the switch into Heatran. Um, he doesn't switch, though. And that's doing even less than the last Earthquake. So, uh, and he's got the counter, so I'm like, oh, jeez. So yeah, that takes me down to pretty low health. And I'm thinking, how am I going to kill this Sableye? I mean, I'm not going to be able to show my face around PBR, anymore, around uh, you know, YouTube anymore, if I lose to a freaking Sableye. So I go ahead and send out Quants, praising him to recover or counter on this next turn. He goes through the recover, just as I was expecting, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't. I haven't seen any attacking moves on his end. So if I go for a few dragon dances, maybe I can take him out. So one dragon dance. Um, I don't remember if I do the calcs. I think I do the calcs, and I see that at plus two, I should be able to KO with Crunch. Um, but he's got the Dark Pulse, and I'm like, okay, well, I think I can survive one more, and I am faster, so I don't have to worry about the flinch. Um, so I go for the second dragon dance, and I'm like, oh, I really hope I survive. I really hope I survive. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Uh, so he goes for the second Dark Pulse, um, and I survive with just a sliver of HP. I'm like, I in fact, 4 HP, so I'm like, okay. So it's all or nothing here. Crunch or bust. Can I take out the Celebi at plus 2? So it's all riding on Quants at this point. Here comes the Crunch, and I'm, you know, cringing, I'm looking away, and yes, I KO. Bye-bye, Sableye. But unfortunately, it cost me my T-Tar because it's got the Life Orb. So thanks to that Life Orb recoil, we've, I've, we've doubled down. He's down to his last Pokemon, but and I've got two left. Uh, he goes ahead and sends out... I go ahead and send out uh, Kimiko. And he goes ahead and sends out Heatran. And so I'm like, okay, well, I've got this uh, battle in the bag. Uh, Earthquake for the 4x effective hit, and that is the game. So anyway... Really, really excellent game, uh, Aro Guardian 93. 
Um, this was a great way to see this team off, um, and yeah, I was just really, really impressed there. Um, so anyway, folks, so that's it for my OU team. I've only got one more PBR battle, uh, and then that's it for PBR on this channel. So anyway, check out the uh, for, uh, farewell and so long.